Hello everybody, my name is Gather and welcome back for another video of Lost Judgment. We're going to be straight off into the fight against Kuwana right here. This is going to be a special video uh, edition. I guess it's a one hour edition. All the Lost Judgment from this point on uh, videos are going to be one hour, uh, boys, at least. I do have to finish this game. I've got way too many games coming up as I'm talking. I'm recording this way in advance, but I already know that I've got multiple games coming out uh, in December. So I gotta be able to, like, if I want to be, uh, don't, uh, if I don't want to be overburdened with too many videos and not having enough, like, of one video or one game uh, played uh, during a week, boys, I gotta start doing my stuff. Like, I, I, I really gotta start actually. Whoa! Now, watch out now. Yeah, I, I actually really have to start uh, doing longer videos for some of these games, which is very important, boys. So we're really going to have to to do our thing right here as I'm literally fighting him off. He's really becoming stronger as time goes by, boys. Let me uh, try and just kick his ass, though, with this uh, big, way big time. Holy shit. Bicycle knee, huh? All right. I see you, buddy. I see you. All right, let's go, boys. EX action. Do as many EX action as possible, boys. Uh, I'm gonna grab this shit. Oh, what the fuck? More oh, chat now. New chakus, boys. Let's go. No, you don't. Yo, he's gonna get me. He got me. No, you don't. All right, we're gonna do that. EX action on your ass. Gonna punch you in the face right there. All right, let's go, boys. No, you don't. Boom. All right. So now we've got some EX action that we can do as well, probably. Oh, okay. All right. No, you don't. No, you don't. All right. Let's just do that. Boom. God, just like that. What? No, you don't. Oh, my God. He got me again. He does so much damage as well. I do not want to have to use a health thingy, but I'm going to have to. EX action on your ass. Beat your ass with that cone. Finally, holy shit, that guy, Kuwana was on another level. I had to really focus hardcore on him for some reason. How long has this been going now? I lost track. Call it? Nah. They're gonna tire out eventually. Beating the shit out of each other is the way some people communicate. Well, I think that's the way Yagami likes to communicate anyways. He, he just likes to beat the shit out of people for no reason. I stopped when I did, you know. I had a move lined up with your name on it. You're the one who got lucky as far as I'm concerned. I was about to kick your ass. <sighs> what a fucking mess, guys. 15k just for that as well. All right. Keep getting a lot of points right there. At some point, we got to stop fighting each other. I do have to arrest this goddamn man. What are we gonna do? We're just gonna continue to eat with him and hey, do okay. like act hey. like nothing's uh, everything's good. One of our higher ups cooked this himself. Look good if there's any left. Not a problem. This stuff's great. Mm. Mm, delicious, man. This is the good stuff. So that means Reiko Kusamoto could be being targeted by public security. Right. It's possible part of the police wants to catch me as leverage against Kusamoto-san on public security orders. 
But that's only if public security really is behind this. You're the one who said you got that info from a cop. Well, someone up top's been putting pressure on the investigation. That much is clear. But no matter how you slice it, the fact that you're enemy number one while RK roams free is absurd. Unfortunately, all I got out of that cop was that public security itself is who we're up against. Public security is Japan's top intelligence agency. If they're after you, there's no escape. Agreed. Then I guess now's a good time to make a suggestion. Huh? Hmm? Tell me, who benefits the most from you two fighting? Huh? That'd be public security. The more you drag each other down, the easier they'll be able to get the jump on you. By the time you notice, it's too late. They got you. That's exactly what they'd want, right? But what if you two work together? Why would we work together? He's literally the guy I'm trying to put in jail. You might even be able to find out who's pulling the strings. Huh. Yeah. For two enemies to join forces, there needs to be an even greater threat to fight. Sure. I'm on board with that. Fine, but this is only temporary. Once we finish with public security, I'm gonna make sure you answer for what you've done. Okay. Uh, then where do we start? Should we just storm public security at this point? No. First we need to confirm public security is really the enemy we're after. Right. We'll make our move after that. We have the element of surprise. They have no idea we're working together. Then we'll use it to our advantage and outsmart them. <laughs> Aw, look at the boys playing nice. If public security's trying to find some leverage against Kusumoto-san, they'll likely be listening in on her. They're the experts in wiretapping and espionage, after all. We just need a quick confirmation. How? <laughs> we'll just give her a call. Right here? Yes. That way, her enemy will trace the call and pinpoint our location. And public security is the only one in Japan who can pull that off, so we'll know right away if it's them. Huh. <laughs> Good thinking. <laughs> yeah. Wait, hold up! You saying if you call up Reiko Kusumoto, then the bad guys will start pouring in? Can we maybe not do that here? Actually, that might just work in our favor. Huh? Bro, why are you talking crazy? Uh, Yagami-san, you sure about getting on bro terms without Kaito-san? Wouldn't that bum him out? Whoa. This is amazing. What is this? Good shit, huh? You've got good taste, bro. I knew you of all people would notice the difference. Kuana, when was the last time you spoke to Reiko Kusumoto? Five years ago. On the night she killed Kawai. We arranged it, so we'd never contact each other after that. So you have her number then? If it hasn't changed. What is it then? I have an idea. What? We're gonna set a trap to find out if we really are up against public security. If they trace the call and they send people for us, then we know for sure it's them. That's why we're gonna call Reiko Kusumoto using a location that doesn't exist at all. How's that work? We'll use two phones that can't be traced back to us, and we'll relay your voice. Obviously, you won't be wherever we do this from. Best to do this someplace with no one around. Once we see who they send in, mission accomplished. Wait, what's happening? <laughs> Don't worry, I got it. You'll catch up, Sugiyura-kun. First, we need to know our enemy. I'll have Tsukumo prep us some burner phones. Which means... a truce for the time being? Only while you're here. Gotta keep things civil for my brother. <laughs> Man, Zhao San's cooking makes even the suckiest situations not suck. Cheers to that! This is some real anime shit, boys. I do not understand hey, how we can so work with a murderer and call it good, a good day. What the fuck? Two of them, right? What Just is like this, Yoko. man? Nicely done, Yokohama 99. You work quick. Time to see Tsukumo. All right. This is getting out of hand, boys. How are we able to just work things out with Kuana just like that? He's the guy behind all of the bullshit that's been happening recently. He's the guy that's been 
killing off all the bullies. He's a mass murderer and we want to we have no problem in literally working with him all of a sudden. Like it doesn't matter whether we have a stronger enemy in public security. It doesn't fucking matter. He's still a mass murderer. Why are we working with him? I just don't I, I'll never get it boys. I don't get the this game's uh, logic at all sometimes. I really just don't. I mean it's anime uh, logic I guess, but still for. it makes Excellent no fucking work, sense. By the way. Hey, got those burner phones ready? <laughs> of course I do. Who do you think I am? I still don't fully get what's going on. Yagami san, what are we gonna do with these? Okay, I'll break it down. First, we call Kawana on one phone. Let's say this one here. Then we use this other phone to call Reiko Kusamoto. Using them that way. The phones won't be connected to each other, but their voices will be relayed so they can talk normally. Oh, okay. And then? If public security finds out Reiko Kusamoto's talking to Kawana, they'll trace the call without actually finding it. Then we can see exactly who they send without risk of being seen ourselves. Mm-hmm. I think I'm getting it. Surely you don't intend to do that here, do you? That would put a beacon on us for Kawana-san's enemies. Yeah, we'll do it somewhere remote. We need a place where nobody would raise an eyebrow at an army of public security boys. And it's got to have a good vantage point. Hmm. There's a building under construction not far from here. It's late, so no one should be around that may get involved unintentionally. Where is it? It's right near Seirio High. There's a crane by the river, too. You'll know when you see it. Okay, you two stay put. I should be able to handle this alone. Uh, you sure about that? Let me at least put out a drone, Yagamishi. Even if it isn't much. I'll use it to capture the faces of Kawana-san's pursuers. <laughs> That'd be good. Well, alrighty then. Let's go catch some, uh, some people. So, where are we going? We're going off... I guess I don't... Head towards the construction site. Alright, I'm gonna head off the building really quick so I can see on the map where that is. They said it was close to Sayori High. Well, it's not that close, but it's still okay. So we're gonna take the this one, this taxi right there. So let me just take that taxi. We got a lot of points actually. Before that, 20k, 20k points. Definitely want to use those for something good. Battle bonus. So, more SP after the battle? Yes, absolutely. We're gonna just continue to do that so we gain more SP over time. Next up, uh, we gotta go into taxis. And we gotta take uh, this one right here. Cafe Brave, boys. Let's do that one. Like I said earlier, this is gonna be a longer video. Uh, all of the Last Judgment videos are gonna be longer. Not sure if I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna stick to the 30 minute marks though for the Guardians of Galaxy ones. Just because I'm probably gonna need my sister to... Uh, to edit those out. Just for more time on my side. Site so about. if she edits those out, that means it's gotta be 30 minutes. So you know, uh, we gotta work things out that way. Uh, we're gonna have to think something out, figure something out. The, uh, one of the games that's coming out is Asterix, is uh, the new Asterix game, which uh, looks to me fa like a fantastic game. So yeah. it might not be, it might be a very short game. Here. I don't know. But I, I don't know which one. There's going to be at least I'm two gonna because I'm going to be at now. some point at four I'm games, good. boys. I'll probably end up doing two of those. That's going to be Did one hour editions. I don't know. Ready? We'll see, boys. I'm about to call Reiko Kusumoto. For Let's now, it's going to be Last Judgment. That's going to be a one hour at it's least. Been five years since I last spoke to her. Yeah. Can't imagine this won't be awkward. I know. Okay, do it. There she is, the vice minister herself.
Yes, hello? This is Kitakata, from Kurokawa Academy. What? You'll have to forgive me for this, but the position I'm in required me to reach out to you. I would never have done this otherwise. I should also note, there's a high probability this phone call is being tapped. I see. Very well, then. It's been 13 years, Kusumoto-san. So it has. Kitakata Sensei. I've read about your accomplishments. To think you'd become a vice minister. You never really know how things are going to work out. Ah, uh, but that's not true at all, Kusumoto-san. You were always destined to move up in the world. I've got to be honest with you. A woman as virtuous and as capable as you deserves the world and then some. But... How is Mitsuru-kun? I'm afraid he's still asleep. Nothing's changed. I see. I wish I had the words. What is it you wanted? If you've been watching the news, you've probably already heard. I've become a prime suspect for a crime. They think I murdered Yokosawa in her apartment. I've heard. Obviously, it wasn't me who killed her, of course. Do you happen to remember Sawakun by any chance? The girl from your class. She was the only one of those students who ever came to visit Mitsuru. But even then, that's been at least 10 years now. I got a letter from her once. She wanted to tell me she'd become a teacher. But I never did reply. And that was the last I'd heard from her. I see. So back to my question. What do you want? I hope you weren't planning to ask me for a favor. I'm afraid the answer would be no. No, it's not that. It's just... I wanted to let you know that at some point... Someone may come to you to ask a few questions about me. I thought I should give you a heads up. I'll make every effort to ensure they won't cause any trouble for you, Kusumoto-san. I'm sorry about this. I'll try to handle it from my side. So in your opinion, then, do you believe anything related to you could cause me any trouble? Don't worry. I'm sure you'll be just fine. We're almost to the signal. Kill the headlights. Two cars inbound. Looks like we were right on the money. This proves Reiko Kusumoto's phone is compromised. And if there's one organization capable of tracing a call and moving on it, it's got to be public security on the hunt for Kawana. Public security is really coming straight to you by car? No. There's no way they can mobilize their people that quickly. My guess? It's got to be the prefectural police that they've got in their pocket. Or it's just RK. I will say it's been great to hear your voice again. But this should be the last time you ever hear from me. I'll try my best. I understand. Goodbye. A mission accomplished. Now we know it's actually the public security, which we already knew. Don't know why we went through all that trouble for nothing. But hey, uh, I guess now what do we do? We're just gonna kick yeah, their ass and get some answers out of them. I guess shoot like it, always, right? Down. You sure? Uh, just take it down. Hurry it up. Hey, what the fuck are you aiming at? I can't hit it. It's too small. Shit. The Damn fuck? Me. This guy's the worst. How the hell are we supposed to chase down a drone? Where the fuck is this Kuwana guy? Who knows, man? They called us in to catch this shithead, but how the hell are we supposed to do that? It's fucked up. Do we look like spec ops? Yeah, right? But at least you gotta shoot that thing. <laughs> this is my second time, actually. I took a few shots at some kids in a park. <laughs> I aimed at the ground and sent those little shits running for their lives. <laughs> We're done here. Pack it in. That's six punks and only one gun between you by my count. Who the fuck are you? It was you guys in charge. I'm sure Kawana would have had this whole thing solved a long time ago. Well, then again, I suppose I do have to give you credit for how fast you made it here. That was my gun, asshole! 
Who's the one giving the orders? You may as well just level with me. You guys are RK's bottom rung, right? It sounds like you must know Kuana. <laughs> well, I guess we're not gonna be leaving here empty-handed after all. Come on! We're taking this guy in, boys! Fuck him up! We just Great. keep fighting right. over and over again for no reason. Alright then. Let's do this shit. I've got no health whatsoever left. Okay, this guy evading me for some reason, somehow. Let's go, let's go, let's do our thing. Boom, and we're just gonna do that. There we go. Just gonna keep attacking them, and do, do some EX action as well, boys. EX action, oh, I missed out or something? What the fuck? All right, I gotta be real careful. Let me equip my special right there. There I go, and boom, boom, boom. There we go, this guy's done. I'm just gonna keep attacking them. There we go, just like that. Just gonna uh, get rid of the uh, stronger ones right there. Battle bonuses, boys, are gonna be really up the chart for me right there after that. EX action on your ass, just like that. And that's gonna be the last one, I think. Uh, we. I, I didn't see anybody else, so that should be it right there. There we go, just like that. How many points did I get from that? 8k, alright. Not too bad, not too bad. Could have been better though. Who sent you here? The order came from the head honchos in RK. You mean Soma? Not that high up. It was one of the bosses. There's a bunch of them. What did they tell you to do once you found Kuwana? They just said to catch him. Well, they also made it very clear not to kill him. <laughs> like we'd pulled the trigger. We never even heard what our cut was. Just another useless grunt. <laughs> Tell me, gentlemen. How would you feel if you found out you were just pawns in public security's game? Uh, we're playing what game now? I suggest you quit RK while you can. Go tell your buddies, get them out too. Otherwise, they'll keep you in the dark, use you and toss you aside. And then, you'll end up in a ditch there's no crawling out of. Look at us giving, us, uh, giving advice to uh, the RK members, boys. We're yes. role model now. Pardon me. You would be Reiko Kusumoto, correct? Sir, it's a little late for this. And how'd you get in here in the first place? I've expressly forbid having visitors. <laughs> Come now. I'm a coordinator with the National Police Bureau, but I'm sure you're familiar with my division of public security. Bondo is my name, ma'am. Are you now? Well, I'm afraid coordinator is rather vague. I have a more public-facing title as well, of course. But I'm trying to be discreet here. So let's not get bogged down with minor details. It's in our best interests. I'm afraid that won't help. I've already seen to that. What is this? There's a question I need answered with some urgency, Kusumoto-san. It concerns the disappearance of a certain individual. Huh. About five years ago, a man vanished off the streets of Kamurocho. I'm sure you'll recognize him. A former classmate of Mitsuru could be here. Shinya Kawai. I believe there are things you might know. I can say that with some level of certainty as a matter of fact. Well, she's in trouble. And we're done with chapter 10. Let's see what we got uh, up against. Uh, unless I'm playing as uh, Sayuri again, that would be great. If not, it's not going to be the, uh, the good again, type of Sumo. undercover. Can't believe you found it. <laughs> I figured Mitsuru Kusumoto would be in one of the better hospitals around the health ministry. That narrowed it down to just a few locations. Then I pinpointed the exact one through sheer determination. And that led you to Toto University Hospital. So Mitsuru is still lying in a coma there? Yep. 
Reiko Kusamoto has been visiting her son every night for the past 13 years, even after she became vice minister. If you gentlemen want to meet her in person, that would be your best chance. Yagami, you seriously think you can convince Reiko Kusamoto to turn herself in? Well, I'm gonna try at least. She's at the top of the food chain. If it comes out that she committed murder, the whole country's gonna lose it. If they hadn't tried to hide it, nobody else would have needed to pay for it. Sawa sensei. Yeah. You're right. And if she confesses to killing Kawhi, public security will run out of reasons to keep defending RK. So in theory, that should free up the police to pursue Soma about Sawa sensei. Totally agree with you there. But Kawana-san's against that, right? Didn't he say he wouldn't let her turn herself in? Yeah. That's why he's not in the loop on this. So, you're just gonna show up? You do know she's probably surrounded by public security at all times, don't you? Just means we gotta be prepared for that. Like the professional detectives we are. Prepared? How? Just leave it to us. Yagami-san, I gotta go get ready. Let's meet at Toto University Hospital. Got it. See ya. <laughs> so what do you need from me in this, Yagami? Got any old acquaintances in RK? Think you can find out where Soma and Akatsu are? <laughs> you forget who you're talking to? Why wouldn't I be able to cover that? I knew a few ex-Tojo guys who go in and out of RK on the regular. Thanks. But watch your back. If they find out you're spying on them, they won't like it. I'll be ready. Like the professional ex-Yakuza I am. See ya. <laughs> he's rough around the edges, but in the end, he comes through. Yeah. Turns out he's got extra time on his hands. Why don't you hire him at your office, Yagamishi? <laughs> I'll talk about that with Kaito-san once he recovers. Anyway, sorry, Tsukumo. We have to take Sukiura from you again. <laughs> Why start apologizing now? It's all good. We'll talk again soon. Alrighty then. Long ass phone call. So, let's see what we got. So, take a taxi to uh, the university hospital. We're about to uh, see what's going on with Matsutuko, whatever her name is, uh, the, the vice minister. Now, obviously, she's surrounded and she's already being uh, taken hostage. So uh, by the uh, public uh, security, so not too much we're going to be able to do right here. Uh, I can, I do I have, I have 11 K, so I don't have enough to do much of anything really. So what I can do, I guess, is go to the crane style because this is what I'm using. Projectile, blue flame or light foot. Quick step tie three times in a row. Let's do that. Let's do the quick foot. And um, now, let's take a taxi to the hospital. Let's do it, boys. Don't worry. I'll give it back to you after this. I'm sure it's bugged, and we wouldn't want anyone listening in now, would we? We'll take a few laps around the block, and then drop you back off at the hospital. Sorry, but we just need a bit of your time. Very well. Who are you people? We're just local detectives, but Kitakata Sensei is an acquaintance of ours. We know about Mitsurakun. And we know that five years ago, a man named Shinya Kawai mysteriously disappeared and died. And we know you I have killed no him. Idea what you're saying. But you do. I know how this must come across right now. So I assure you, we aren't the ones posing a threat. Fine. What is it you want then? All I want is the truth. In your own words. About Shinya Kawai. 
and how you carried out his murder. You're mistaken. I didn't do it. You didn't, huh? Well, what did Kuwana tell me uh, that you did? The other day you received a call from Kitakata Sensei, didn't you? He goes by the name Kuwana now and works as a handyman in Ijincho. He made that call because we needed to confirm something. Confirm what? Whether or not you were being watched by public security. <sighs> public security, you say? Is she surprised at all? Maybe she already had a hunch. Nope, she got visited, As I it feel. it turns out, you are. Your cell phone is bugged. It can even use GPS to trace who's on the other end of the line. That kind of trace is only possible with cooperation from the cellular providers. Unless your public security could pull something like that off in secret. They want to hit you where you're vulnerable. And that's what you are now after Kawana. Do you understand, Kusumoto-san? You must really be something special. You were never in this job for yourself. It fell into your lap as your predecessors fell like dominoes. That's why you don't owe anyone anything. You're free of constraints. And Mitsuru-kun's tragedy even gained you public sympathy on top of it. Combine all that with a capable bureaucrat like you, there's no telling what you could accomplish. You're cleaning up house, tackling the revolving door problems. Things you know are the right moves, but with no regard for the consequences. I understand even the cabinet gauges your opinion, since you have so much public support. But I think that's also made you some enemies. Most likely whoever's holding public security's leash. I have more than a few enemies. I'm well aware of that. And I have no doubt public security would comply with them. To be quite frank, public security only exists to maintain the status quo. The establishment is made up of various powers which control politics and finance. But naturally, each branch has its own agendas, goals, ideas of justice, which leads to all sorts of issues and hindrances, which you call constraints. The more individuals who make up society, the more unavoidable that is. Are you implying it's public security's job to loosen those constraints? <laughs> there is more to it than that. The world we live in requires all kinds of value systems to coexist, even in chaos. But if you loosen the constraints too far, the fall of the state is inevitable. In that regard, public security's role is to stabilize and maintain the state even while bound by constraints. In other words, the constraints of these powers are precisely what are protected by public security. So the fact that I am not caught up in all that does, indeed, make me something of a pesky foreign object. A pesky foreign object. I see. So to these establishment people, you're something to be excised. Hmm? I guess there's bullying among adults in high places, too. Yeah. Now we know why they were looking for any kind of weakness in you. And that's when they turned the spotlight on Shinya Kawai's disappearance. An event that was triggered by Akihiro Ohara's case. You know the one, I presume. Yes. An active duty policeman exacted revenge on the bully who drove his son to suicide. Your enemies must have heard that and thought to themselves, what would Reiko Kusamoto have done to her son's bully? <sighs> I'm guessing that's what prompted public security to make their move. As the details of Ahara's case came to light, a group of thugs calling themselves RK started looking for Shinya Kawai, all to find out that he was kidnapped five years ago, and probably killed. I never did anything out of revenge. That's bullshit and you know it. Stop lying. Why she's always lying? The hell? Natural she was giving to, uh, she wasn't going to divulge any secret. Ava just met me, yeah. I don't have enough evidence to make her talk. What do you mean you don't have enough evidence? You have all the evidence in the world, my guy. Even after finding out Kawhi disappeared, public security still had to verify it. But if they found out you were involved, that'd be a win for them. They finally know Reiko Kusamoto's weakness. How long are you going to keep talking? As public security figured out, 
The bullying cases involving Toshiro Ihara and your son share a common link. That link being Sawa Sensei. She was Mitsuru kun's classmate and Toshiro Ihara's teacher. Not only that, she was also linked to Ihara's murder victim, Mikoshiba. She was his master teacher. So, not long after the murder, RK came to Yujincho and broke into her home. That must have been when they got Kawana's name out of her. I think Sawa Sensei suspected that Kawana was involved in Mikoshiba's murder. Then Soma steps in, with his professional interrogation skills, to beat and scare her into spilling everything. Kusumoto san, you knew she was killed, right? Kawana should have told you over the phone. Wait, are you not one of his colleagues? He said he wouldn't cause me any trouble. And that he would never call me again. Kawana and I are competitors on a temporary ceasefire. We're not colleagues. <sighs> She's been flustered since I mentioned Sawa's name. It's my chance to ask her some questions. Okay. Let's see what we have, boys. Ask public uh, security contacted you. How is your son doing? Tell me about Kawai's murder. I don't care about her goddamn son. She's a murderer. All right, let's, uh, let me tell, uh, tell me about the, the murder, I guess. I have to ask let's start right Shin away, Kawai. right in front, boy. Super aggressive on her. With your own hands, didn't you? <sighs> I understand what your feelings must be towards Kawai, but was that really the only answer? If you've spoken to Kitakata Sensei, then you must know about the video. Of how Mitsuru was treated. I do. Aside from Kawaii, the other students pretended like nothing happened. They took no responsibility. They put on their sad faces, and they came to visit Mitsuru at the hospital. But looking back on it now, I don't think they really wanted Mitsuru to wake up. In fact, that's what they were checking on. And what did I do? I bowed my head and thanked them. It was only later that Kitakata Sensei showed me the video. That's when I knew that those kids going unpunished was wrong. And your solution was to pull them into the quagmire? Make them accomplices in murdering Kawai? If you already know so much, what more do you need to She's been flustered. All right, so, well, the one thing I have to ask is your public security. They gotta be, they already contacted you pretty much. Has anybody from public security contacted you? Have you been approached by any strangers? I have my suspicions. What are their names? <sighs> I imagine what they wanted was to exploit your weakness to control you. Because if all they wanted was to eliminate you, some kind of accident would be easily arranged. Yes. I suppose you're right. Do you have any idea what these people are after? Do you mind sharing? What they want is control of the pension fund, which is under the health ministry's jurisdiction. Pension fund? An independent agency within the ministry manages the national pension fund. It's taxpayer funded, and it's worth 160 trillion yen. What? And certain groups want to take bigger risks. That's a whole lot of money, boys. In order to generate well, a king, whole lot of money. No wonder they're in on it now. They want the health ministry to use taxpayer money to gamble. They believe that's the only way to rebuild Japan's faltering economy and secure the future of this country. A bunch of politics, I guess. As usual, politics getting in the way. Pays off. But if we lost the gamble then we wouldn't be able to guarantee anything for the citizens of this country in their golden years. That's why the health ministry manages those funds conservatively, even if it means the returns are lower. Okay. I'm starting to understand now. You do? Don't leave me in the dust, Yagami-san. To be able to gamble all this taxpayer money to save the economy, they need a change of management. And here's Kusumoto-san, head of the office. And she's beyond the control of even the ministers. Her position has the power to take action. 
to override the way the pension fund is managed. But not only does Kusumoto-san have the power, she has the support of the people. If a new vice minister were to try it, they'd be stopped cold by the constraints. So that's why they wanted to find her weakness and exploit it? Exactly. And if the 160 trillion yen gamble were to fail, they could blame the whole thing on Kusumoto-san anyway. Okay. Wow. 160 trillion. <sighs> I'm guessing they've already contacted you about it. That's an assumption. All right, well, how's your son doing, I guess? That's the only thing that's left for us to ask. Here's the thing. How's your son doing now? That makes no goddamn sense. Even that, now. she's the Minister of Health. Of not I'm economy. Sure last economy and health are not the same thing. I don't, I don't get it, boys. We she's in charge of the hospitals, Just all these year. things. She's not in charge of the goddamn recovered. economics uh, system. The fuck does do that even mean right now? Why are they hospital. going... For casino stuff, gambling and all. all I can do is wait. What does it have to do with her at all? Alright, so nothing else. I've got nothing else Forget to ask. Let me reiterate. We are not your enemy. Then please, let me go. Anything you want me to tell Kawana? I do. He needs to run. Far away. Public security has their sights on him. His capture is not a question of if, but when. He's in danger if he remains in the country. And once public security has him, they will extract everything he knows. You mean he'd be tortured? Yes. Somewhere well beyond the public eye. No one can withstand what they'd do. He'd tell them everything. And as for me... They would expose your vulnerability you their pawn. Most likely. They'd gamble away the taxpayers' money, and I'd never purge the corruption in the health ministry. I get that. But what does it matter? What? You're corrupted yourself. What does it matter if you purge the corruption? You're you part of the problem. You, you gotta purge yourself. You exactly. To to manslaughter. You think I killed a real man? I say he was less than one. Shinya Kawai. He was little more than a subhuman brute. And you saw it. You saw what that brute did to my son. I hated Kitakata Sensei. He was an incompetent teacher. An idiot who turned a blind eye to Mitsuru being tortured. But that changed when he suddenly showed up eight years later. And then he showed me that video. He said, every bully in that video, they deserved to be punished. That it was the only way to get closure. You took him up on it? But you of all people should have known better. True. You're right about that. I struggle with it quite a bit. It's an unconscionable act, no matter how deep your animosity runs. But Kitakata Sensei's words hung on. I couldn't get them out of my head. I saw for myself. I went to Kamrocha where I'd heard Kawai was working at a girls' bar. So you know, after Mitsuru jumped that day, Kawai came to me in tears to apologize. I hadn't seen him in all that time. If he'd frozen in place when he saw me, if he'd been the slightest bit apologetic, I might have been able to stay my hand. I take it he didn't do any of that. <laughs> Right. He didn't even recognize my face. And that's hardly the worst part of it, actually. When he saw me, he took me for some bawdy cougar on the prowl for young men. If you've got the cash, I'll show you a good time, he said. All those tears he'd shed years earlier were a farce. But I knew that. Deep down, I'd already known that. That was the moment I lost all doubt about killing him. Well, that was the moment and you became a fucking psychopath. Mitsuru, you, ah, uh, you, you idiot. But that's why. You don't just decide that's to kill somebody like, like that without being a psychopath. That's just not how it is. It works. Night, ever 
weary night, I pray he will wake up. What more can you ask me to endure? Kawana said something similar. But you think you can repeat all that? This time say it to her. Isn't that Sawa-san? You and Kawana can congratulate yourselves. You got vengeance on a monster. But what you're choosing not to see is that your actions have consequences for her. It's vicious. I've seen this before. Justice for one at the cost of another. Someone innocent always pays the price. I won't... I won't just sit here and watch as history tries to repeat itself. This phone isn't being traced by anyone. So... If you have a change of heart, just give me a call before you turn yourself in. That's all I had to say. We're back. She better turn herself in. Because otherwise we lost all that time for nothing. Can't believe she's acting exactly like Kuwana. What a bunch of assholes and idiots. They really think that killing people is just justified. Like, really? Honestly? Right here, okay, Yagami-san? Yeah. I'm gonna go talk to Kuwana. Need to tell him I met with Reiko Kusamoto. He's gonna be pissed, you know? He's gonna try to rip you a new one. <laughs> That's true. So you might want to sit this one out. You sure? Because I'll totally take you up on that. Alright, well we gotta talk with Kuwana, I guess. And uh, I'm guessing we're gonna have another fight with him. Not only do they need to be in prison, they need to be, like, helped and stuff. Well, they need help. We have here? They're not gonna get Kawana help on the streets. Well. By staying uh, in, in the streets, days. that's for sure. Where's Kawana? Hmm, how should I put this? <laughs> Would you freak out if he was right behind you? You know, this kind of shit is why you get on my nerves. Couldn't we have done this by phone? I just came from seeing Reiko Kusumoto. I told her to turn herself in for murdering Kawai five years ago. You what? What did she have to say about that? That she had no sins to atone for. Of course not. Look, what do you think you're doing? Her part in this is done. Don't drag her back into it. She needs to be this dragged back to into finish. it. You I have my first case. I've got Eraro's case. Damage. I need him to turn himself in. I need him to be daughter. convicted of murder. They don't know why or if justice will I'm be going served. the long route. Do they have don't have a choice. Like that? All without even knowing the truth? <sighs> Would Sawa Sensei want that? You talk about justice, but she keeps getting left out. You aren't even trying when it comes to her. Say whatever you want, but if you cause Kusumoto san any more pain, I will never forgive you. I whatever, did exactly dude. Why I didn't tell you I was going to meet her. Listen, Yagami. She hides it well, but she's never gotten over the fact Mitsuru tried to jump to his death. And she's not sure how to feel about killing Kawai. Unlike me. If she was anything like you, I would have pushed her harder to confess. There's no evidence that she killed Kawai. He simply vanished from Kamurocho, and the police didn't even know about it. Besides, there's no case without a corpse. Point being, she'll never be charged. Right, Kuana has Kawaii's body hidden somewhere. Remember, uh, you and Ma Mamiya said so. She did turn herself in, well, we, all we gotta do is find the body her. then. Then that's Don't not a problem anymore. You're getting a pass here. You've killed, what, seven people now? Do you even hesitate anymore? Hm. You got proof? Running around making baseless accusations. You sure you were a real fucking lawyer? My colleagues in Kamracho are getting ready to appeal Ahara's case. Your actions are going to be put under a microscope. I wouldn't even call that bad news. I want the world to know their bullies are getting what they're due. 
And by then, I'll probably be going by a different name, maybe even a different look. You're just gonna keep doing this? Did Sawa Sensei sacrifice me nothing to you? Is that the only thing keeping you around? Truth be told, I don't think exposing everything is even in Sawa's best interest. What? Sawa Kun herself felt guilty. I just sent you the proof. What is this? An audio file? After Ahara-san lost in court, she called me. I recorded our conversation. Toshiro-kun came running to the roof. His face was pretty swollen. And a few minutes later, a student named Mikoshiba came up looking for him. I'll never forget the fear I saw in Toshiro-kun's face. He told me about everything. The teasing, the beatings, the theft. How nobody was on his side. And yet, I had to deny all this. In front of an entire courtroom. They said there was no hope. That I was the only witness with no proof whatsoever. Believe me, I never wanted to do that. Sawakun's testimony in court was false. And she was racked with guilt over it. And your first thought was to record it? When she was at her most vulnerable? Yes. And then I played it for Ihara-san. He had the right to know the real reason his son killed himself. All you did was light the fires of vengeance in Ahara's heart because you didn't want to be alone. You know, I've heard that bullying is almost instinctive. That's why people who do it never stop. I mean, think about it. Would you stop cleaning a toilet just because it'll get filthy again? Somebody's always got to get his hands dirty. And that somebody's going to be you? If it means I can prevent another Mitsuru Kusumoto, yes, I will keep killing. Why are we not arresting this guy pray, already? The defenseless must be punished for Unbelievable, all man. I wish the law would the do way he job. acts, the way he talks. And because deep down, I don't want to do any of this. He's a mass murderer. He knows it and he wants to keep I killing. What you're saying. We have You're to arrest him far. right on the spot. Just What's the point him. here of trying to work with him? If you really want to stop me, you're going to have to kill me and call it justice. <sighs> I thought you guys were going to start another fight. It was a bitch cleaning up the mess last time. Next time I go up against him, it won't be just a few scratches. Well, when that time comes, take it anywhere but here. I think I call it a day. Should come back. Uh, okay, so we're gonna have to rest up, boys. Hello? It's Shirosaki. Are you in Yokohama again, Yagami san? Yeah. Is this about Ahara's trial? Yes. Regarding the appeal. The prosecution says they want to consult with us, off the record. Off the record? What do you mean? They want to discuss with the judge beforehand whether or not Ahara's murder footage is admissible evidence. The video has gone viral, of course, and nobody's really sure how to handle it. Is the prosecution really going to hold the line on it being a deep fake? That's quite possible. Which is why we're meeting today in the courthouse conference room. I'm sorry for the short notice, but could you join us? Of course. I'll be there. Thank you very much. No need to rush. There's still plenty of time. Just be sure you're there, please. Alright, well, I guess we gotta go head out to the courtroom, boys. Shake, uh, should take a taxi to conference. Okay, well... I think I'm gonna end the video right here. See you guys in the next video. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this one. Keep it easy.